Hello you guys, welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T, so in today's video we are shopping at Lowe's at the Garden Center. So let's go ahead and check and see what's in stores. Okay, so we are at Lowe's and we're checking out what they have. Believe it or not, they already have in our brassicas. So if you haven't got your seeds started or you don't want to start your seeds, you can always go to a big box store or your local nursery and find some of these items so right here you guys they have the cauliflower right here and they have it at uh let's see what size pack oh wow you guys they have it as a six pack they have a beautiful six pack here and then we have the broccoli six pack as well and they're beautiful y'all they're beautiful look at that they're healthy. Uh, bugs haven't got to them yet, so they must just came in. Here we have the Bonnie Best cabbage. Let's see, this is a six pack as well. I'm just surprised how beautiful they are. They're very, very healthy looking. So this is just must have arrived here. Look down here, they have here the collard greens. Okay. Now I do recommend that you, as soon as you get them, go ahead and cover them because the butterflies are out. Make sure you have some type of netting. You can go ahead and still plant your parsley as well. Definitely all your herbs. I do recommend that you go ahead and start some of your herbs as well. These things will actually tolerate a frost. More collards, vanilla, rosemary, lots of rosemary. And the rosemary as well will progress on to season to season, okay? So if you want to get some herbs, rosemary is a great one. And it smells amazing, and I love it. And um, I love to cook with this with my roasted potatoes. So good, okay? Now let's see what they have on the other side. But you guys, they have brassicas in. Yes, they have some brassica in. I was trying to see if they might have had some Brussels sprouts in, but I'm not seeing any Brussels. I'm just seeing cauliflower and broccoli, cabbage, and collards. Oh, let's go. I see some more stuff. Okay, so right here they have the Swiss chard. Okay. Some Swiss chard there. And here they got some lacinato kale. This is my favorite kale. Um, it reminds me of collard greens. So if you don't like collards, the lacinato kale is the way to go. I really, really like the lacinato. They have some curly kale right here. See that lacinato has that flat leaf and that curly kale has that really, really curly, curly outer leaf, okay? They look really good, the lacinatos. So down here we have more herbs. They got basil. This right here looks like, um, this right here looks like oregano. It's oregano here. Uh, cilantro, just try to grow that yourself, okay? It bolts super fast. It's not worth the money unless you like the coriander seed. Okay. Some more citronellas. These citronellas right here are beautiful. Yeah, this is definitely a citronella. And it's beautiful. Yes. Very healthy. I like that. Yeah, so over here is just flowers I'm seeing, um, but I'm super excited about that. They have some more sweet potato vine, which I'm shocked they still have sweet potato vines here. Um, but if you don't want to get your uh, seeds started and you're lacking in space and don't want to rush yourself to go ahead and get seeds started 
the best way to do it is to go to your local nursery or as well your big box stores and see if you can find some brassicas that you can just grow from starts. I think if you, I think it's okay to grow from starts to each its own. You can save money by starting from seed, but if you don't have the space and you don't have the time to, to baby your plants, this is the way to go. Just buy your starts, okay? they even still have some blackberries you guys in the store and actually these plants are beautiful look at that they are beautiful they're healthy I don't see any disease so these blackberries oh my goodness are absolutely beautiful and you know what they're more beautiful now than they were when they first came out in the beginning of the season but look at that these are some beautiful blackberry plants. Look at that, y'all. That's one plant. One plant. Stunning plant, stunning. Very beautiful, very healthy. Let's see over here. They have here, what is this? Oh my goodness, they have an olive tree. I think I want one. <laughs> Look at this. I like to top olives on my fish and placing it in the oven. Okay, it's so good, it's so good. But look how beautiful, healthy this olive plant is. Now these are black olives here. Now I did see last year they had the green, but not the black, but this year they have the, the black. And they're beautiful, look at that. They're healthy. And over here, they have the Myers lemons. Now, I did purchase a couple of mine from the Bulls Garden and as well from Home Depot. So, I had gotten, look at that, it's a key line. So, that is absolutely great to still see that you still have time to plant things before your cold front comes in, okay? Here in North Carolina, we won't get a cold frost until, a cold front until November. So we have time to get these plants established. So this is great to see some beautiful, healthy, strong plants, okay? I mean, look how big that blackberry vine is, okay? Okay, you guys, we're at the end of the video, but I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know, if you see your brassicas in stores, that means it is time for you to definitely plant your fall and winter crops as you see here they are much advanced here so i do recommend you do cover them because there is a ton of pests that is out and ready to eat these okay so you guys remember there's beauty in everyone's garden and bye bye for now